Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to integrate WooCommerce orders to monday.com. So in this video we are going to learn how to integrate both of these applications in such a way that whenever an order is created in WooCommerce, so the monday.com's groups or tables will be updated and a new item will be created. So we are going to create this integration with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the order created in WooCommerce and our action will be to create an item in monday.com. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn how to integrate WooCommerce and Monday.com in such a way that every time a new order is placed in your WooCommerce, then it is added to your Monday.com table in different tables like this. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pavli and we are going to use Pavli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take you to the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right hand side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Integrate WooCommerce with Monday.com. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will see two major modules of Pabli Connect called Trigger and Action on which the whole workflow is going to work. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your WooCommerce account and also your Monday.com table or board where you're going to record all your data. Then we will understand the functioning of this workflow. So the trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means the trigger application is going to be the first application where the event will be taking place manually. That is, we are going to make the change and that will trigger this workflow so that the action application performs the assigned action. Like here, our trigger is going to be WooCommerce because the order will be created in WooCommerce. The event here will be new order created. Now, Pabli Connect will provide you a webhook URL which will help you integrate Pabli Connect and WooCommerce in such a way that every time a new order is created, the data related to that new order is brought over here as a webhook response. These are the instructions given to you how to use this webhook URL. So, let us follow these instructions and integrate this webhook URL. Go to your WooCommerce, come over here to Settings from the left panel, find Advanced in the Settings menu and then scroll down to webhooks over here. When you reach this webhooks page, you will find a button called add webhook. Here you will fill in all the entries related to the new webhook. First of all, give a name to your webhook. I'm going to name it as monday.com orders. The status will be active. The topic will be order created. And then in the delivery URL section, you have to paste this webhook URL. Copy it from here and paste it in this section. Click on save webhook and your webhook is pasted and saved safely. Now you can see that it has received a webhook ID which is a proof that we have integrated it perfectly. Now let us click on recapture webhook response and now we have to give a sample event over here that is creating an order. Come over here to products in your WooCommerce left panel and click on all products. Select any product that you want to purchase right now. Click on view. I'm going to purchase. I'm going to create a purchase for one plus ten. Add it to the cart. Make any changes if needed and then I will just proceed to check out. The details are filled in over here already as this is a dummy purchase. I will simply place an order and the order is created. When I go back to Pabli Connect, you will see it's still waiting for webhook response and shortly in some time we will be receiving a response over here for the new order that we have just created. So as you can see here we have received a response and if we scroll down to see the details of the order, here is the price of the product. Then we have the details, the name of the product and the address and the name of the person who has placed the order, which means that we have received complete details related to the new order created over here. So let us close this window and now we will proceed to our next step that is going to be monday.com because we want to add these details over there. So the event over here will be create an item. Click on connect, add new connection and now this connection has been made to make sure that all the details received over here will be safely sent to monday.com with the help of Pabli Connect automatically. So for connection, you will need a token over here. Again, for the token, you will be needing these instructions. So log into your monday.com account and click on your admin menu over here. From here, go to administration and here you will find API. This is the personal API token. Copy this, come to your Pabli Connect workflow, paste it over here and click on save and the connection has been established. Now you can see that the board that we have been working upon was named WooCommerce and it has already selected our board name as WooCommerce only. Now group title is given like this. 
I want to name my group names, the table names over here as the products that I have in my WooCommerce. So I'm going to name my first table as one plus 10. And let's say I have one more product in my WooCommerce called SmartWatch. Like this, because this is a dummy workflow, I'm creating just two tables to make you understand the workflow. Otherwise, you can create more group over here based on what are the number of products you have in your WooCommerce. Coming back over here, we will have to decide a table for which our order that has just been created will be collected over here. But what if you have another order? This is for OnePlus phone. If you have some other product over here, then it will be automatically added to the same group because we will be selecting here just one group over here. We are not going to change these details every time again and again once we have created the automation. So in order to set such logics and changes over here, we are going to add one more step right here, which is called lookup table. Click on the plus button between your trigger and action window and lookup table over here. You have to type that is a feature built inside Pavli. Here the event will be to lookup table. You can read what is given below. It gets the match data from lookup table fields by lookup key. So you have to enter a key over here. Click on connect. The connection is not a difficult part as it is built inside Pabli itself. Now here you will find the lookup key. So lookup key is going to be the product name because that is the unique difference between every new product. So either you can scroll and find the details or you can simply take advantage of the search and map data field and type your hint over here. It will straight away take you to the value. This is the name of the item 1 plus 10. Whenever a new product is purchased or a new order is purchased over here with the new name of the product that will be changed over here because we have mapped the value. Now, in case of label, we will type over here all the details of the products that we have. If our product is one plus 10, then the value will be the group ID of your money.com table. Click on this plus button, add another product name, which is smartwatch. And then here we will enter the value name like we have entered over here. So in order to get these group ID, we will take help from our next step of money.com. Here the group title is the first one, one plus 10. Refresh this one and see, this is the name of your group. Click on map and see the name of your group is topics. So copy this name from here and enter it in this value. So whenever the product one plus 10 is purchased, the data will be sent to the group topics, which is basically one plus 10 only. Similarly, again, deactivate this map button and then go to smartwatch. Now map this and you can see the group ID for smartwatch is group title. Copy this one and paste it in the value section in front of smartwatch. So now every time smartwatch is purchased, the data will straight away go to group title, which is basically the smartwatch table over here. Now, once this is done, click on save and send test request. And here it's a success. The status of our response is success because the result label is one plus 10 and the value is topics over here. So this step has been successfully enabled. Now, in order to work on your next step, click on connected again so that you can refresh the step and start again. The board is same. The group, now you will map it. Why are you going to map it? First of all, activate the map button. And then every time this lookup will have a different name over here for your different table. So that is why we need to map it. Otherwise, all the data will be stored in your topics only. Now, because you have activated the map button, it will give you these drop down menus to map your data. From your lookup table, we will take this topics as your value to be mapped. In your item name, you will map the name of the person who has purchased your product. So the name of the person is dummy. This was the first name. Give a space and the second name was user. So this is the name of my person. Now in name section, you can leave it empty. You can see that these are the customized table columns I have prepared for myself. And that is why that is how you are going to enter the details. Now for date, you have the date over here, as you can see in this format. If you want to split this date, you can. So for that, again, we are going to click the, on this plus button and add a step called text formatter. Now the step text formatter is an optional one, only and only if you want this date and time to be separated. Otherwise you can straight away enter the date and time in that format only. I'm going to split my date, click on connect. Now connection again is not a difficult task because this feature text formatter is built inside Pabli. 
we will split the date we have right now so the date of creation is this and the separator for me right now is t so this t which comes between the date and time will separate both of these i want all the segments click on save and send test request and you will receive the response as the date and time split it so now we are going to use this date and time split it now again because we have ad added one more step between your trigger and action you will click on connect and refresh this step now see activate this map button do not forget that when you have refreshed this step you have to again enter all the values map to the group name the item name stays the same the date will be entered from the text formatter this is your date and then the time is this delivery city so you can take it from here type city and this is the city of delivery now click on save and send test request and the data create item id is here now whenever a id is given to you in response which is a proof that your work has been done and the response says that the automation has been created successfully so this is the workflow that you can see in front of you let us go back to our monday.com and see here this is the name of our person the date the time the city is here which means that we were able to automate and integrate our woocommerce and monday.com in such a way that every time a new order will be created the table columns of monday.com will be updated for every new product every new table will be updated so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you